All right, tonight we're gonna go over the tools that I normally carry and give a quick review on the Badger uh, Badger tool belt and what I like about it, actually what I love about it, and then a couple things that bother me um, that don't work so well for me. Um, anyway, we're just gonna go through the tools and do a little cleaning, so right side. Right now I'm swinging 21 ounce Delugi. It's a sick hammer. Um, I love it. If anyone knows me personally, you know I have a thing for hammers. Uh, Milwaukee chalk box. It's cheap. I think this is red. Yeah, it's red. Um, I go through a lot of these because someone who I won't mention likes to throw them in puddles. But that's no big thing. Carpenter's pencil. This is one of the things that I feel like there could be room for improvement. So like if I put this pencil in here as soon as it gets a little short like it's just buried you know I can't either have to like only use half the pencil or in my case what I did is I just cut this out so I have a little stubby slot but I feel like it would be pretty easy for Joel to just I mean I'm sure you can on a custom rig like do a regular full length one and then a little stubby guy here or a little stubby guy here whatever not a big deal easy mod anyway pencil knife any old knife whatever um, keep my chisel and a tool shield this is the inch and a half and I've been carrying a scratch all but I think I'm done carrying it it's not it like has one purpose it's for the chalk line like I suck at even hooking my tape on it you know so I think I'm just gonna leave that somewhere else uh, black keel Pika pencil whoa someone's happy uh, unpopular opinion not a huge fan only time I like using it is when I'm scribing uh, like really long scribe so my it doesn't like wear down as fast or you know I can just like click it out real quick and don't have to sharpen anything and then wet lumber outside of that um, I think it's really cumbersome the line is huge yeah I'm not a fan this is a little Japanese nail set uh, it's set clear jams uh, set nails like sink them in there if you've got a plain stuff um, this thing is sick you can really like, you can get back here and wail on it and not be afraid about missing and breaking your hand uh, kind of just like my layout pencil it's like my backup pencil and then blue keel just a garden hose little pencil air sprayer goes on the air hose gloves a little bit of electrical tape um, and that's pretty much the right side keep the gun loop on it um, it's nice for impacts or drills hi she is not impressed anyway uh, a couple things I really like obviously the hammer holder um, is sick I really like the setup of this bag uh, none of the slots are closed off on the bottom they go all the way through which sometimes sucks because you'll lose stuff um, well no it doesn't suck because you can actually get it back in the diamond backs um, or in the my oxys you know like once you lose a bit down there it's there forever unless you spend a lot of time getting it out anyway love the right side bag super tight um, don't really keep much in here I think I have like a bit and then a bunch of trash Yeah, two screws and a hardened nail. Anyway, left side. This is my fastener side, and we were having a weird day yesterday where we were like framing and then plumbing and lining, and um, so I have a bunch of extra screws in here. It's super heavy and kind of sucks. 
Um, anyway, top. I kind of like the Milwaukee tapes. Um, they're pretty cheap. You can buy them for like 20 bucks right now. I like the finger stop, and I like the, the big hook. Um, it's a lot more handy. You know, I have Fat Maxes, um, and they do great. Like, this, to me, the standout's the same. Who cares? Um, but I do like having uh, not numbers on the bottom because we use, like, a plum dot laser a lot, and you can reach up there and read your read your number instead of doing one of these, you know. Um, anyway, great. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, underneath that, I keep a bunch of bits. Stair gauges that almost never get used. Really, they just help keep this from getting buried. Because, um, like, once this thing, this thing gets all the way down in, it's quite hard to get out. Obviously, it's not doing it for the camera, but... Anyway, I like having to keep my bits in there. That way they never fall out, you know? Um, speed square, fancy speed square. Um, is it worth the money? Yeah, it's worth the money. Don't eat it, though. $10 square will do it. Titanium, cat's paw. This thing sucks. Um, this is way too big. Uh, it's like too fat. It needs to be like a slim taper like the S-Wings. This thing is pointless. Uh, it works a little bit, but it's like way, honestly, it's way slower than just like sending it home. Um, but it's light and I spent a lot of money on it. So I'm going to use it till it breaks. Do really like the double, like bar hol holster from these got from badger uh you know it comes with this back slot here and this is okay this is amazing honestly i wish you could just buy a standard ready to ship set and have this as an option or just like they're always on here like they come i mean they come with a hammer sleeve cat's paw flat bar sleeve like Makes sense to me. I would pay an extra 30 or $40 for it. Like, I think everyone else would too. This one, like, with where it's at, it always just tears your clothes. I mean, I think I didn't have this, I didn't have this on here for several months and I just tear your pants up and I sent it back and got one of those. And that was a great call. So I always keep 16s in the front. Little baby pouch. Always, always, always. It's always 16 pennies. I have a lot, it seems. And then I usually almost always keep eights in here and there's probably a metric ton. I've been plate, plating a lot and lay out and we'll just keep them over there for now. Oh look. Uh, these are concrete pins. I don't normally ever carry any concrete pins. Um, but we're starting out on a steel slab and we're kind of just tacking the plates down. And these are came from coils, but some of the coils got annihilated. So we're hand driving them and the concrete's green enough that it's quite easy. I'm just going to dump these all out. Yeah, so I've got like a bunch of random structural screws. Uh, I don't normally carry this, but you know, drilling anchor bolts and stuff right now. Um, I'll carry it when we're doing that, when we're doing like first floor stuff. Um, I don't normally carry screws, but we were plumbing and lining yesterday, so we're bracing stuff. I've got some random other fasteners in here. I do like having a few structural screws on me because they come in handy. You know, when it's time to, when you really need it, you know, it's like you needed it a minute ago. So it's nice to just have it on you. But normally it's like 16s, 8s, uh, maybe a couple structural screws or whatever. And then if I'm shooting, if I'm doing uh, 
if I'm using a stick gun, I'll use sticks in there, but honestly, I'll keep my laser in there. Um, or if I'm, you know, building climbing walls or like right now we're plumbing and bracing, I'll keep like, uh, screws in it. Like it's, this one always kind of gets swapped out for whatever. It's kind of, these two always stay the same. And this one's always kind of a revolving door of whatever I'm using at that time. Um, uh, it, it's a great bag. I mean, th this side, I kind of wish I would have got the, like the single bag, um, for no other reason than I have no self control and I'll just load it up with stuff. Um, speed, speed, spurs, clots, speed square slot is amazing. You know, it doesn't go all the way through, so you don't get stuff lost in there. It did come with like a bit index, a little Velcro, not Velcro, elastic band, like four bit indexes that were not sewn in at the bottom and that thing was garbage. Um, like the bits would just fall out and it would hold up my tape, you know, like at first this thing couldn't even fit a Milwaukee tape. It could fit a Stanley, but if you were going to use a 35, like you'd really have to stretch it out. It took a while and then having bits in here just made it even worse. I cut that out. It's, it's not a great design. It needs to be like nylon like this and this needs to be padded so there's like some pressure to keep them in there um but otherwise yeah i mean great bags anyway yeah i think they're awesome bags they're definitely my favorites um my favorite fancy bags i've had you know a set of two sets of diamond backs and a you know like the nylon and leather occidentals and i still use those those are really great um but for like purely framing um these are awesome. The one thing about the Oxys that I do like is they've, you know, they just got a massive pocket. So if you're doing a lot of drywall or just banging walls with stick gun, um, stuff like that where you just need like gobs of fasteners, the, this kind of comes up short. Like, yeah, you can get, you can get as many as you want to carry, but if you're wearing suspenders, um, you're kind of toast. Uh, wait, does that even make sense? I mean, unless you're wearing suspenders, yeah, it doesn't make, it, it's not great. Oh, and speaking of which, this is the one thing that I hate them. I actually legitimately hate and I think is ridiculous. Um, the suspenders. So it's a three point system. Um, Badger sells a set of suspenders and you have to like thread it through to use them um so you can't just like take them off you know occidental diamondback uh acrobus they all have just like little snap little like little clip carabiner type things that you can just take them off if you want i mean most of the time i don't wear suspenders some days my age shows and i really want them and and then middle of the day boom it's hot i want to take my shirt off and i don't want a sick suspender tan oh we got a neighbor cat what's up leo how are you anyway um you can't take them off easily like you can't just like reach around and take them off or whatever uh i don't understand i do not get it i don't like it i bought them i almost never wear them uh because it's such a pain in the neck i think there's room for improvement there but anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, and hit me up in the comments on what stuff I should carry and what I've got here that I definitely shouldn't. All right, thanks. Just, just watch this. This crazy... What is going on, Leo? You're stuck, dude. You can't get into the catio.